Hi friends, welcome back to another video. Today I am going to be reviewing eight different diapers. That is a ton of different diapers. Um, and I'm really excited because um, with my first son, I only used like a couple different brands of diapers. Um, and with our second son, I've used a ton of them. And so I feel like I have a really good input on them. I know I don't have to really say this, but I'm going to anyway. Um, every baby's different, so what works for my baby might not work for yours. Also, this is the perfect example. I literally have two boys, and they're completely different, even their diaper needs. So I'm going to go through that with you as well. Um, but we have brands. We have Pampers Pure. There's Huggy Special Delivery, Millie Moon, Hello Bello, Honest Company. There's eight of them, so I will go through them. I'm just going to go right down the line here, and I'm going to do... Um, a rating out of 10, 10 can be like the best that it can be, um, and go through like absorbency, odor blocking, the fit of them, like the softest and everything so that you guys can kind of get a feel if you're looking for diapers for your baby or diapers that you might want to purchase for somebody else. Or if you're wanting to donate diapers for the season for a specific family or in mind or something like that, then you can also think of which option you might want to do. I'm also going to go through the prices a little bit with you guys. So we're just going to start um, over here. This is the Pampers, oh no, I can't remember what, Pampers, mm, I don't remember. It looks like this. It It's your. It's like your standard, I think they're swaddlers, Pampers swaddlers. Um, it's got the little yellow strip, which I think is pretty common in diapers. Like, I'm looking around over here, and there is not one single diaper that doesn't have the P strip. So, <clears throat> if you don't know what that is, if you're, like, a first-time mom and you don't really know what that is, basically, when your baby goes to the bathroom in these, the line will go from yellow, it'll go to blue, just to indicate. It's like an indicator line to let you know that, hey, your baby's gone to the bathroom. Um... <clears throat> This is a, this, it looks really big because it's a size two. We're not in twos yet. We're in ones still, but we've already used up all the ones that we had. Um, so I love the Pampers brand. There's nothing wrong with these diapers. They have a good thickness to them. They have good absorbency. I didn't even notice like any sp specific odors or anything. Um, they come in, like they say little cute things on them. Like this says sweetest thing and it's got like some fox. Some foxes on the back. Is foxes a word? I don't know if it is. That's what the, that's what's on the back of these. Um, so they're they're cute, comfortable fit. Um, nothing wrong with them. I would give these a ten out of ten. I think they work excellent. They're along the probably the middle it, the middle tier of price with diapers. Um, they're not as cheap as some diapers. Not as expensive as some. So these are really good, really good buy for your money. Absolutely. The next one I'm going to talk about is Hello Bello. So, I was so excited to try these diapers, guys. Like, I was so excited because I love Kristen Bell, and she's the maker of this company, and I was just so excited to try the different patterns. I'm one of those people that likes to put my baby in pattern diapers. I don't know why that's a thing or why that ever even started because it doesn't even matter. Those diapers are going to go in the trash, but it does, and it makes a difference for me. So, me personally, I do like them. If you don't like them, that's fine, too. Um... But this is the Hello Bella, Bella brand. I have two different patterns to show you guys. I have this weird, like, shape one. And then this one is the alphabet. Um, I don't really care for these diapers. Um, the, first of all, design, not great. It's super blurry, kind of fuzzy um, looking. So, yeah, not, not super great. You can kind of see this a little bit better. It's just a little fuzzy looking. Um, absorbency, it's not that absorbent for, at least for us, we have a little boy. He's on the chunkier, chunkier end of the spectrum and he pees a lot. So we have, just have to change him a lot when, we, when he wears these. Also, we have had two accidents already leak out of the sides of these. Now, the reason I don't like these as much is because of this right here. So right here. These little sides, my son's belly is a little bit rounder than probably your average size one baby on the, you know, the low end of the spectrum, but this is not that wide. And so 
it's not connected to the back of the diaper when I put it around his little thighs. Um, it's, it should be longer, in my opinion. So don't love that. Um, also, these are pretty high-priced diapers. Like, they're, they're premium-priced diapers. So, and I feel like for a, for a premium price diaper, I want something thicker. I want something a little bit more comfortable fit for my baby, and I'm just not getting that. So, is it cute? I mean, I don't know. Kind of. This one's weird. Abstract shapes. And this one has weird shapes in the alphabet. So, are they cute? Yeah, they're okay, cuteness-wise. Um, but I think that's about it. I won't purchase these again. I will give these, like, a... 7 out of 10. Um, this is Pampers Pure. I love and am always going to be a huge advocate for Pampers Pure. Um, this little thing up here on the back gives your baby some extra coverage there. Because, um, you know, if you have a baby that has blowouts, like, up the back, like, these can really come in handy and save those onesies. Um, that little strip in the back, like, it just seems like the poop knows exactly where it needs to just go right above the line of the diaper, but these, I have to this date, had two boys, never had an accident in these at all. These are premium price diapers. I think that's like the lowest you can go is maybe like $27.99. I might be wrong on that, but it's for a big, one of the big boxes of them. Um, and they're just, they're excellent diapers. They are excellent diapers. They are a bigger diaper. So like um, the sizing on these, it'll fit your baby a little bit big or at least it does it has both of my boys fit them bigger on the bigger end so there's a lot of room to grow when you buy these which is fantastic the absorbency the odor blocking stuff it's all super amazing the indicator is very clear um they don't come in like picked designs or anything they're very pretty much clear cut um in the design but they're a great diaper i would give this 20 out of 10 20 out of 10 like hands down. Um, this next diaper is actually a bit of a new one, at least to our family it is. So I noticed this box of diapers um, at Target when I went to get stuff off my registry and I was like, I've never heard of that brand so I don't want to pay the money to try it. But they actually sent me a couple in my um, Target baby box, my free Target baby bag that I did a review on. Um, and I'll link that below so you can go check that out if you want to. Um, but they sent me two of these Millie Moon diapers and they are they looked a little girly to me um but hands down these are the softest i don't even know if it's capturing it but it feels like a blanket like a fleece blanket it is the softest diaper i've ever felt in my life um the back gives amazing coverage for those pooper and peer babies that pee up the back and poop up the back um the fit is incredible. Look at that fit. Here, I'm going to kind of show you the difference between this, this coverage, sorry, this coverage, this is the front of this diaper, okay? That's how big it is. This is the front of this diaper. Oh, this is the perfect, this is like the perfect way to show you guys the difference. So this is where this one ends, and that is where that ends. See the difference? There's like an extra inch on both sides of the front of them. Um, and it's such a soft fit for my baby. Oh my gosh. I put this in, um, I put this on him after his first bath and it was just so soft and so warm and I loved it. I would give these a 20 out of 10 as well. The absorbency is beautiful. They are, they are so comfortably fit for him and I don't know, I just love them. Like the design is kind of odd, but 20 out of 10. Oh my gosh, yes, absolutely. If anybody was ever pregnant and they were like, what diaper should I get? I'm going to recommend Millie Moon because it's just such a comfortable, comfortable fit. Um, these Huggies Little Snugglers are what I'm going to talk about next. These are like the middle of the line diapers as well. This is what they look like. This one is Pooh Bear um, and Pooh Bear and Tigger are on the back. They are really, really cute. I love this cinched waistline because it just really, it's very stretchy, um, and it really kind of, there's like a little line here, you can see, a little extra line here, and it really holds that pee and poop into their diaper, which is really good. Um, so I love these, which is so weird, because with my first son, I hated Huggies, and I vowed to never buy them again, like I was dead set on it. 
um, they had some cheaper <sighs> huggies, like diapers, and they were huggies at Target when we went. And my husband's like, what about huggies? And I'm like, no, 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 we're not getting huggies. I don't like huggies because I hated them with my, with my first son. They leaked and they just, I just hated them. I don't know why. And then my son Mace was in the NICU for a week and they ended up using these diapers, these exact diapers right here. And they sent us home with the rest of the bag. And I was like, I'm just going to retry them. And lo and behold, I love them. They're so good. They're such good diapers. I regret making my first review about these diapers. Um, you know, I don't regret it, regret it because different babies have different stories. Like, like, just like I said at the beginning of this video. Um, but for now, Mace, absolutely, these are great. They are great in absorbency. The indicator is so plain because there's nothing down here. There's no design on top of it or anything. Um, so I love those. These are Huggies Special Delivery. Um, these, I got a couple of these in our baby bag for Target. These are so soft, you guys. So, so soft. And it's very similar to the little snugglers um, in that they have that cinched waistband um, and the extra bit of coverage in the back here. Um, if I had to choose between the two of them, I'm probably going to go with the little snugglers just because I've used them more um, and they seem to just be so good. This is little dump, um, 101 Dalmatians, I don't know why I said little Dalmatians, but 101 Dalmatians on the back. So they are really cute diapers and they have the characters on them, which make them a little bit more special in my opinion. But the next one I'm going to um, point out is Loves. So Loves is on the cheaper end of the spectrum for diapers. Um, and it's actually like the same thickness as these Hello Bello diapers. They're very, like the thickness of them is very similar. Um, the broadness of these is very similar to Hello Bello, but it's wider. Um, so if I had the chance to get either a cheaper diaper or the Hello Bello QD diapers, I'm gonna choose these Loves wins over those. So Loves is a great brand. It's good quality for what you get. For these, I have to change my baby a little bit more often because they don't hold a whole lot of his pee, um, but they have great like over the leg little cinches and um, keep everything in. I have yet to have any accidents in a Love's diaper. Um, the only one I've had accidents in is the Hello Bella ones, which is crazy. Um, and the, oh sorry, for this one I think I got a box for like $17.99. So this one was like the same count as Pampers Pure. Pampers Pure is like $28. This was like $18. So it was a $10 difference. So if you're looking for something very mild, you want to get something, somebody a big box of diapers, Loves is definitely the way to go if they choose to use those types of diapers. Um, and just FYI, I would always just ask the mom, say, hey, I'm going to be out buying some diapers. Do you care if I buy Loves? Or if you want to just say, hey, what brand do you want me to use? That's probably best because they know their babies. Yeah. Okay. The last brand that I'm going to talk about is the Honest brand. It's one of my favorites. So, with my first son, I didn't really use Honest. I think I had one pack of Honest diapers and I liked them, but I just never bought the another, another pack. Um, but the Honest company is by Jessica Alba. I think that's her company. And the prints on these, okay, they're so cute. I am here for all the prints. So I have a couple different prints that I just brought with me for the video um, so that you could see like what we had. But for the fall time, like Thanksgiving time, I had these cute ones. There's like a fox some leaves, an acorn, a mushroom, um, a squirrel. Yeah, they're just so cute. So, so cute. Um, this is a different one. This has like hot air balloons and elephants all over it. Um, very, very cute. And this one is so cute. It says moo, cluck, oink, quack, and it's got farm animals on it. I don't know. Like their, their prints are so cute. And just to show you the difference, um, you know, in the quality of the, the prints, even just the prints. See how clear that is and how unclear that is? It's very fuzzy, like Honest Hello Bello. Yeah, so I, first of all, clearly love the Honest Company. I have bought multiple packs of their diapers. I think I had eight packs of diapers upstairs um, from Honest. 
um, they do run on the smaller end. So that's what I was talking about with the Pampers Pure. They're a bigger diaper, whereas um, Honest Company runs a little small. So you can kind of see the difference. So this is a little bit taller and it's a little bit wider. You can't even see the Honest Company in the back here. And you can see like how much bigger the Pampers Pure is. These are the same exact size diapers though. That's what they're marketed as, size one diapers. Um, these are just as expensive as Pampers Pure, so it just depends on what you want. Um, and they might be slightly off the count versus how much they are. You can do that research on your own. Um, but for absorbency, yes, 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 yes. I have not had a leak ever in these. These over the thigh things are amazing. Um, the back, I really wish the back was just a little bit taller, but I still love them so much. Um, and they're a super comfortable fit. They're a super duper comfortable fit. So I love design, fit, absorbency. I never smell anything with them on him or anything. It's just amazing. So I love them a lot. So that is all of my reviewing. I hope that you maybe made a decision based upon that, maybe of what you want to get for your kid. Or like I said, it depends on like whether you have a boy or a girl because girls pee down, boys pee all over the place, at least in my experience they do. Um, my first boy was very neat peer. He just peed like very neatly down. I think I got peed on once. Mace has peed on me 10 times since I've been home with him. He is a wild peer. I open the diaper and just like it's spraying all over the place. Um, not so much anymore because I kind of know what to do now. But <laughs> um, his diapers, I say all that to say his diapers are saturated in the most random spots of his diaper because it's just like wherever it's pointed, it's it's gonna go everywhere. So, um, and it also depends on like whether your baby drinks a lot or how big your baby is. Maybe your baby drinks a little bit less than uh, somebody else's baby. So, uh, uh, so much to consider with, with, with the diaper choices, but um, I hope that you enjoyed today's review. If you did, please don't forget to give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you haven't done so. Just so you know, I am mainly like a lifestyle, um, cleaning, motivational channel, um, but I do tidbits of motherhood because that's lifestyle. That's part of my life as a mother. Um, and I will be doing um, a little bit more here and there um, now that we have our second baby. Um, but yeah, that was it for today's video. Um, and I am still trying to get right back into the swing of things here on YouTube after having my second little boy. So bear with me, be patient with me, but I'm so glad you stuck around today and hung out with me. And I'm looking forward to sharing some more special videos with you this season. And I hope that wherever you are in the world that you're having like the merriest of Christmases you've ever had. And I wish you all the best joy. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye, guys.